Nation Nation. Hello, Lee Kemp here for another week on the podcast. As always, I am joined by Jose Neuer and Ryan Boniface. How are we doing, guys? Good, thank you. We are wonderful. Just to warn everyone, Joe has had a full-on day at work today and he is a little bit hyperactive. So we are going to have to put up with this, I'm afraid. Thank you, everyone, for listening, watching, supporting us. Of course, catch us on YouTube, cross all podcast players, and at, so, at on on social media at listen to I N listen T O I N. That is on Twitter for as long as Twitter continues to survive, and then we'll just migrate somewhere else. And of course, join Joe on TikTok, J Neuer underscore Inspiration Nation. You can join us live, just like people are doing right now, this very moment. Get involved with the show. Which reminds me, I've got something very quick to update you guys off off air once we've finished recording. If you stay on TikTok, you can find out what that's about, though. Oh, right. Oh, good. Like that. So, who is? uh, I was going to say talking stick. I think I did that last week. We didn't. We didn't podcast last week. Oh, we didn't, did we? Joe did an interview last week. Very very good interview, by the way. Joe very much enjoyed that. Um, Even though it was uh, involving my scariest subject of the barber. Anywho. Oh yeah. Who is in the barber's chair of conversation this week? Oh, I like that. Um, I don't think it's me. Because didn't I do the last one before? Was it the... Oh, Ju- Ryan's, got, Ryan's got a guilty look on his face. Was it, it, did... was it Joe last time? I think it was. Yeah, it's me. Oh! <laughs> you had me fooled there as well. Had me yeah, fooled. Yeah, I'm joking. You had I'm a joking. poker face on there, Ryan. You had your poker face on. It was like hard to tell. I've stuck with our list theme. Okay, I like it. You've got However, it isn't, it isn't limited to five. <laughs> Oh, a it, long list. Ryan's long it, list. Is, is it a Robin Sharma 32 million list? No, although we did 32 million episodes on that subject. Um, <laughs> this list I found and I have copied completely from a TikTok that I've seen. And I can't remember the girl's name on the TikTok. I have it. Um, so I might give it to Lee. And yeah, make sure we'll stick credits. that in the show notes for everyone. So if you um, just look on the notes wherever you are, you'll find that. Yeah, apologies. I would If I remembered your name, I would have quoted it. I've copied this pretty much word for word. And these are 21 Ooh. life lessons. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, and this is generally a 30 minute podcast. So, Joe, we oh. can't have a five minute chat on everyone. <laughs> All right. I'm going to be quiet. As Can we much- say that Joe's only allowed to speak on every third one, especially because he's a bit hyperactive? Joe will okay. speak when he's spoken to. No, I'm joking. I'm I'm joking. Um, I've been told. I've been no, told. We, we, we talk on the ones that you feel feel all right. But if I have to run through some quickly at the end, then um, we will do. Well, it's your it's your it's your episode, Ryan. So you're in charge, my friend. Let's go. Twenty one life. Where are we start? We starting at one or twenty one? You choose. You can choose twenty one or one. Go. Let's go okay. for one. Let's build one. it up. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I Let's don't think they get one. better or worse as the list progresses, <laughs> but we'll go with one. Okay. Uh, number one is nobody cares. I like that one. Oh, I, th- I thought you mm. would both. I thought you would both repent it. No, no, not at all. Is I that, is that get... meaning? Nobody... There we go. Here it comes. Oh, all right. <laughs> no, go on, go on. So that means nobody you... cares. I mean, it means literally nobody really cares in terms of what you do. Like nobody, ca- nobody's watching. Like, is that what it means? I mean, she didn't Stop give any context. About other people's opinions is what I would say. Yeah, she didn't give That's any it. context. So it it, right. it it reads to you what it reads to you. To me, it reads that. Nobody cares about what you do. Not really. Yeah, unless that's... you're unless yeah. you're like the very point one percent of people in the world. Nobody really cares what you do. But I don't I think there is a I think there's a positive affirmation spirit. So you probably spend more time worrying about, about what other people that they are thinking themselves. And I think yeah. that is just it's taking away that worry. Yeah. yeah they're cool. not interested in what you do. And, yeah. e- yeah. and even if they do care, that shouldn't matter to you because yes. life yeah, still yeah. goes on. Yeah. I like that. We're off to a strong start. That yeah, says more about them than it does you. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Love that. We've spoke about yeah. this loads. Number two, take time to know who you are. Yes. I'm going to just say 12 minute walk Lee. That's all I'm saying. I'm being quiet. For content, right Joe, and we might talk about this he at the end. You make my not. joke. I didn't even realize. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Joe did. You can see it. Check out Joe's TikTok. He did a 12 hour walk last week, the point of which was to spend time with himself. So Joe is in on that. And before he opens his mouth, Ryan, let's go on to number three. <laughs> yeah, all I was going to say about number two was that you don't you shouldn't you're not going to fully know who you are i think by age 30 because i'm not 30 and you're not going to know by age 40 and you're not going to know by age 50 so it's yes. important to continually take time with yourself because if you are you've probably if you're old enough to listen to this podcast will know that people change around you 
So it's pretty likely that you're going to change as well. So it's important to take time to, to know that. that. Absolutely. Uh, number three, you'll like this one. The more you give, the more you receive. Yeah, I love that. The more you yes. put into the universe, the more you can take out of the universe. That's I think it. is I the way I read that. Believe, definitely believe of that one. Yeah. I just think um, you put yourself in front of more opportunities the more you do that, and it just yeah. it takes care of itself. Yeah. That's a Simon Squibb, give without take, by the way, hashtag give without take. I mean, that Lee never used to follow. No work is beneath you. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. no, I, I think it, it take away from a prof professional context, like even at home, no work is beneath you. You know, you're not, you're not too good to cut your grass in the winter or you're not too good to... I really enjoy cutting my grass, just to throw that in there. A euphemism. <laughs> it's not, but I also enjoy that too. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's move on. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no work is beneath you. So, you, you, I you think know, that's you, important. You, no matter, you, you, it's a pretty obvious professional one, but you can look at it in any way that you like. You're not above doing the work that, that you either employ or you manage people that do, because more than likely you were doing that once upon a time. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. And you could be again for all you know. Yes. Yeah, you might have to do it again. Yeah, this one Great. is going to set Joe's radar off. I was going to say another <laughs> word. I've got to be quiet. I've got to be really quiet and say one word or something. One word on each thing. You can talk about this one if you'd like. Start meditating. Yes, that's all I've got to say. <laughs> Lee, <laughs> he's Lee's off leaving. Now. Lee's leaving. <laughs> oh, he's quiet. He's, mute, he's muted himself. He's Finally, we can have a good podcast. Here we go. He's, he's meditating. He's, he's meditating right now. He's meditating, yeah. I he think... did it live on the podcast, didn't he? Live, live on the podcast, he's meditating. He did, he like... did. People yeah. people seem to think meditating is sitting in a dark room um, <laughs> yes. with your forefinger and thumb poised together and kind of humming, if you like. But it doesn't have to be. Meditating can just be... We've spoken about it so much on the podcast, but as a top line, it can be anything. It can be uh, when you're driving home from work, you just go back through your day and think about what you could have done better or what you're going to do to battle problems the next day you just clear your mind it doesn't have to be as formal as doing a yoga pose and being zen you know it, it's whatever you want it to be yeah absolutely i've done a clip with you actually ryan when you talked about informal you actually talked about informal meditation actually and i named it that as a little clip that's going to be coming out on youtube uh of you do it of you know of you talking about look it. at that yeah. give me a doctorate right. i'm naming meditation techniques Yep, you are. That's is, you. Is Lee coming back, or is I don't know. Or... I think he's going to put some garlic bread in the oven. That's probably what he's doing. I've got that's... garlic bread for dinner tonight. That's probably what he's doing. He's probably like got on off to prepare some. Meals oh, you know something. what he does normally do that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Number six is. I was just staying off for the whole meditation. <laughs> yeah. <back> again now. <laughs> oh god! Oh, meditate! I'll just on TikTok. Strange monk. Hey, strange monk. Meditate. Oh, just wanted to shout out. Thanks, guys, for joining. Appreciate you. Just saying. Number six. Don't be afraid to take risks. Oh, Absolutely. Another Simon Squibb classic. Yeah. By the way, also, just to quote Simon Squibb, you know, you know, you've obviously got to minimize the downside, but also if you take those risks, then you increase your luck. So I really like that. I think there was a podcast Lee and I did a couple of weeks ago that Joe was absent for where we spoke about putting yourself in the right position but not overexposing yourself. I remember what number that was, but that's it, that's in the last five, probably. I'd say now I I push myself on that but i think i spent uh, we talked about it before not regrets but there are there's definitely opportunities where i didn't maximize them during my 20s probably from not from hiding myself from risks and if i had, if i had time to do over again i'd probably just push myself a little bit more yeah yeah i, I agree with that i would do, be exactly the same as that if i had this mindset now i would have done that but I, I didn't do it because i was worried about what other people would be saying or me failing i'd be very afraid of failing that would have been the thing for me. But yeah, I really love that, by the way. Number seven, don't make decisions when you're emotional. Oh. A hundred percent. Oh. And this this is one Didn't that we talk I... about this, though? Didn't we talk about um, making decisions with your gut, though? Isn't that an emotional decision? No, I think they're no, two no, different no. things. I, making a decision based on a gut feeling is different to uh, making a decision when you're upset. Uh, I'll give you... If, or... yeah, if someone, oh, yeah, okay. If so someone does about... something that sets you off and you get really which pinged negative. off. Right. Generally, yeah. and then for yeah. those someone, if you watch on YouTube, you see now you start keyboard warrior like this. Arr. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've done that in the past, and then half an hour later, I've completely regretted what I did or what I sent. And you just got to give yourself that. You got to, you know, go back to being factual and take the emotion out of it. That doesn't contradict with going with your gut. I don't see. I think they they are quite separate things. Yeah, and I think that whole thing about that arr, arr, typing the email or whatever is like stepping away from the keyboard. Then I'm going to rephrase this one slightly. Luck runs. If hard work walks, totally. the way it's written is luck works if hard work runs. 
But what I mean by that is if you work hard, then luck will support you and, and, and push through with that. Hard work is the baby step of luck pushing you all the way, if you like. That's the way that I try and phrase that. But luck works if hard work runs, which essentially means if you work hard and you do the right things, things will eventually fall your way. Yeah, and I think there should be a little bit of thing. That, I mean, obviously you want to work yourself into the ground, but at the same time, you know, doing your best, is that what it says to me? Absolutely doing my best in whatever I'm trying Ready to, to do. Ready to take those opportunities. Mm. Doing my best. You're not just like half ass in it. That's what I'd say. Number nine like is mm. be patient and persistent. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, persistence for me is... That's a tough, that's a tough balance because you can mm -hmm. be persistent and not patient and you can be patient and not persistent. But sometimes, sometimes you have to do things in slightly coyer ways than the, the obvious one to hammer home what you need there is there are many the many ways to skin a cat isn't that an old phrase yes <laughs> yeah. for me that patience thing is also the persistence of like for me when i'm thinking about the podcast when i'm like like we're doing episodes or we're doing that persisting in doing the episodes like doing the reps but being patient with the results that for me that's what that's what i say you know being patient with you say they will come it's just you've got to be patient with that you've got to keep doing the work yeah love that by the way you don't need to impress everyone i don't think you can can you you can't impress everyone all the time. But I think some people wish and hope that they do. It doesn't matter. It goes back to number one. Nobody cares. People and can I be think... impressed, but they still don't care about you. Yeah, and also you can get, I don't know if there's an opinion one in this whole list of yours, but you know people are always going to have an opinion as well. And I think it, it doesn't really matter. You're going to have a strong opinion they are as well. So it's just about going with what you believe. Obviously, there's my over-the-top podcast slash workly persona, but in, in the real world, I like to pride myself on trying to be understated rather than the showy which is, is almost the opposite of it which i think is a far better place to be than a kind of keeping up with the joneses type of mentality to be clear i've yeah. never seen Libby over the top at work <laughs> number 11 we're flying through these listen to learn we've spoken about a lot of these in quite recent podcasts but yeah. you learn more from people by listening to them rather than assuming what they're going to do. And I, I think it's an understated, but a rather obvious one. I think, I think we could, I think the thing is listening is very underrated. I think people, I'm a great listener, but really we're not, we it could be better, a lot better. I think um, listening is a skill where there's actually infinite levels and actually Stephen Covey's uh, book for uh, seek first to understand is about listening and it's such an important thing what i was going to say joe actually is that listening is something we could really improve on and i don't know if you've read stephen covey's book but <laughs> carry on carry on nice. oh, I love that. It's so funny. <laughs> number 11 is don't take the easy road 12 hour walk is what i'm saying i think that's a rather obvious rather obvious one sometimes you can be compelled a, to take it but there's a twist on that so i think you only get out of life and work and hobbies and blah, 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 what you put into it. hundred percent agree that that's why we're here doing this. And we've been doing this continuously for three years. And Ryan, Joe, you know, I've done more than my share of 12 hour days and eight hour weeks and eight hour weeks, eight day weeks and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But similarly, you can tie, you know, there's the easy route of just sitting around waiting for stuff to happen, but you can also go the other end where, you know, it's the whole work smarter not harder thing so it's going the pragmatic and practical route so you're not you know you're not over complicated and overburdening yourself but you're also not taking the easy way where you're still striving for that result but you're you're continuously trying to improve to do it in the most effective way possible if yeah. that makes sense i think my autobiography would be titled work smarter not harder <laughs> yeah. i love that and also just say to that because it was that work smart not hard and that's you know one of the classics but i'd also just say it's always being trusting yourself in your own ideas it's yeah. like walking the path that not any many other people have walked it's like you know you get the you know you get the trail and it's really well worn but you're going to go actually i'm going to take a take a diversion actually not many people have gone down this, but i'm going to try this road and i think that that's the one that's, that takes bravery but yeah i yeah i love that by the way i think that's a real good one and you're believing yourself. It's like believing yourself and trusting yourself. And actually, it's something I've discovered on my um my walk. Did Joe do a walk? He's not mentioned it. Ah, don't okay. forget I've got a big right microphone as well. I was going to just say, Joe, you've not mentioned that yet either. <laughs> um, this is probably one that I don't necessarily believe in the most because there's different ways of doing it. But I I, I respect what it stands for. Start reading books. But you can have audio books. I and... think that's uh, yeah. I think there's different media. There's different ways of taking media in these days, mm -hmm. um, in the right way. 
Um, You'd want to just expand that to educate yourself, wouldn't you, more than specifically reading books? Yeah. There's yeah. YouTube, all that sort of stuff, which I use YouTube a lot and books. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of negatively impactful stuff to learn out there. But if, if you're genuinely looking for the right thing, you'll know the right stuff when you found it. Number 14 is respect others as you would respect yourself. Um, yeah. I think that's just a, a common sense manner these days i think it's probably isn't it a command one of the 10 commandments as well from the old christianity days i don't know treat others as you wish to be treated or something like that i've probably blown that miles out so apologies you know someone's googling this right now ryan (laughs) someone's googling (laughs) this right now they're gonna say ryan it's not you know i don't know oh ryan's googling (laughs) Before, before i have to apologize it's gonna to every be like christian <laughs> uh, i have to apologize to every christian christian that's definitely not a commandment <laughs> all said with good intent but exactly you're doing it the right way if you're gonna play with your google do you want to wait till we're done <laughs> not funny um <laughs> yes react very well there to that Lee. <laughs> number 15 is narrow down your focus bit by bit this is actually my next podcast topic is on this subject so i won't say too much now but this is what my next subject is all about the way the way i view it is if you view what you want in a pair of binoculars as life goes on and as you get closer to that target you have to zoom that pair of binoculars in or you'll become closer to that however way you whatever way you want to look at that you either become closer to your target or you zoom it in and sometimes when you look at a picture the center focus isn't quite what you're attracted to when you look at it something sometimes you'll see something off in the corner or to the side and that just because your focus is in a certain area doesn't mean it has to be the dead center of that area it can be something that surrounds it yeah, the way i read that yeah. for me what i read that what that, that came across to me was like the sort of laser focus is that when i'm focused on my goal everything that i do is like almost like connected to that you know things that i've got to strive towards so I, like like now you know all the things that i do are like connected to doing a podcast doing the clips you know, thinking about personal development, reading books, doing my job. Actually, my job's connected to this, and my, this is connected to my job. It's like it all links together. I find that your life tends to piece together as the the goal is like really like in your centre focus. That's how I that's how I interpreted it. I've got I a completely it. different interpretation, and you two who had very different interpretations. But we we'll, will, we'll talk we about will, it. Re- yeah, we'll recap this at the start yeah, yeah. Of next week. I just yeah. I love. And I agree with both of your interpretations on that 100%. I just, I love the way you can take different things from the same, yeah, I agree. same phrase. Right. Number 16 is you quit, you lose, you fail. You quit, you yes. lose, you fail. <laughs> if you don't try, you're never going to succeed. Yeah, and if you stop trying, you're not going to succeed yeah, either. Yeah. 100%. You stop, yeah. You don't even get started. You, you yeah. miss 100% of the shots you never take. Oh, is that a Michael Jordan quote? I don't know. I like that. Love that. Love that. I think it's from the Old Testament. Oh, okay, okay, look, I've apologised, <laughs> right? <laughs> outrageous um 17 is always put your best foot forward go into everything with the right intentions oh okay yeah, yeah. or go don't do something half half fast go into it with uh do you know what, I, I, do you know yeah. what come up for me with that like using your strengths come up for me i don't know why like going forward like using your strengths to do do we go into lean into things yeah um that's what i thought from that from me it's like I recognise when I've done stuff that I've maybe tried to do things for the wrong reason, and that beca- that is actually using things that I'm not that great at, and I didn't really enjoy it. Whereas when I do things when I'm using my strengths, I actually enjoy it more because I, I actually start to get a bit more traction. But I enjoy the things that I do in that area because they're my strengths. And I think you know, if you look in careers and things that we talked about before, it's like if you can give, use your strengths in the area. Like for me now, doing training and coaching, you know, all that stuff is things that I enjoy. And that I'm really passionate about, and that I really want people to succeed, and that, that's where I get my joy and passion. So, yeah, that for me is like best foot forward is using my strengths. That's what I've come across for me. It's I like really that cool as life. a as a spin on that. Number eighteen is don't bother what other people think. Oh yes. If number one is nobody cares, number eighteen <laughs> is you don't. <laughs> Those care. two they go hand in hand. They yeah, yeah. people hundred yeah. percent. People and... too care too much about what people think. You yeah. have to go your own way. And that's like going down the path that, you know, people go, what are you doing? You're a bit crazy you're going down this path. Yeah. But absolutely. Otherwise, you won't, you know, if you went, you won't do anything. You would never do anything because if you, if you thought of that. So no, I totally am on board with that one. Number 19 is learn something new every day if you can. Oh, that's a tough one. But it's that, good. I was going to say exactly the same thing. It's great advice. 
it's a little bit idealistic, but it's yeah. great. I think it's even if it was you know every other day makes it routine and regular, but you know it is it is it, I suppose it ties in with the reading a book thing and stuff like that. It, Again, it, I think the more you're open to it, the more that stuff starts to happen as well. It doesn't have to be a groundbreaking feature. No, no, it no. Could, it could just be the difference between an ounce and a and a and a gram, or an ounce and a pound, or whatever. You know, if you're weighing out food, or that filling your car to the brim is actually. Uh, you actually get less fuel than if you put in a pound less because you pay for the money that goes through the nozzle or whatever. I don't know. There's there's life tricks that you can learn outside of the, the book stuff that, that make us better. And I am one for, and we've got more access to this than we ever have, and I am, I am one for, I wonder if Google have a look, and it can be really obscure things, watch think on TV, or I wonder if that is such a place, or when was that, yeah. or why does that look like that? Yeah. And a quick look. And actually, I'd never really thought of it in that way, but that does... I do that and it's my other half laughs about it but also loves it that if she's wondering something she'll just say i wonder if and i can't help as soon as that question's there i have to pick up my phone and i have to look that's what <laughs> i do I've, in fact the other day my daughter said oh my, my engine's uh my engine is naturally it's not naturally aspirated and i thought yes it is it's like it's the carburetor and, I, and then i looked up online and she was absolutely right she was right and i learned something new and i googled it and I thought, oh you are right and i googled it i said you're right um, so for me, it's being open as well. I love that. We probably do it being more open. than we think, don't we, actually? Yeah. Thinking about I, it. I you... do a Lee. So when I don't know, I Google it. <laughs> <laughs> I just literally Google it. Yeah, you've you've learned you've learned how to be a a tradesman this year as well, Lee. To be fair, I've done yeah. a lot of that this year actually. <laughs> remember that you when you fixed some plumbing in your house last year. I think that was the first one. If I remember rightly? You to oh, fix you're some right. Or you had I a leak that, somewhere, or and I've done. I've done a lot. This touches on this will link in with again next week. Actually, it's a nice lead in, so people need to listen Ooh. next week. But I have taught myself many skills over the last couple of months. YouTube is a godsend. So this really resonates, doesn't it, Lee? This this one absolutely learn something new every day. But yeah. again, there, like you said, there's lots of little things, and I hadn't really thought on that. A lot of these were big things, but I've done it over a few months, and I'm probably not going to be learning big things like that continuously. But then there's a lot of that little stuff that goes on as well, and it all builds, doesn't it? I probably flush stuff out my brain as far as the stuff goes in, and then you can just keep cycling it around. Don't underestimate it. It's in there somewhere, <laughs> Lee. It's in the subconscious. You don't ever forget it. It's recorded somewhere. Number twenty is yep. don't make assumptions. Oh yeah, it's a really good which is something that I think Lee's been practicing yeah. since the new year, or trying to do something along those lines. In terms to, of... in the, you're right in the non-judgmental place. Yeah, actually, yeah. Mm. It's a difficult um, one as well because we tend to do that, don't we? It's Which just, has, it's just has human has made, nature. I would I think. say it's definitely made me a more relaxed and happier person. Doesn't mean again I'm not perfect at it by any stretch of the imagination, mm -hmm. but I try and remind myself and I try and be conscious, and it's good because it makes me worry less about the other side of the coin yeah. and what people are judging about me as well. Love that. Yeah, I do love that. Every time I hear this, I think it's a, a good thing to be getting involved with. And we need more of that, don't we? I think it's the best New Year's resolution I've ever had, I would say. And finally, number Crescendo. 21, believe in yourself. Yes. Oh, do you know who comes to mind already? Evan Carmichael. That's his number one thing, belief. Yeah. Absolutely got to believe in yourself. Go on, sorry, go on. You just put a spin on, or not a spin on, you're going to put your thing on this. You? No, I, I was just going to say that. I think that was probably the most self-explanatory one of, of the 21. Just I also, believe in yourself. I, I love that, well, you said we start at 1 or 21. I love that we build up to that one because I think, like you said, it is the most self-explanatory, but I think it's the hardest one to do, but it's the most important one of them all. Yeah, it is. It is the hardest one. It is the hardest one to believe it's because you've got to be, it's almost like a bit of faith involved there. You have to, you have to have faith in yourself. And that is something you need to build and, and, and nurture. No, thank you. I saw a great and somewhat cheesy picture on social media yesterday, which was like a cat looking in a pond. But what they were looking at was a tiger in their reflection. And that's where, and it just said above it, it's all about mindset. And I think that's what this is, the believe in yourself thing. Yeah. Only you can control that. There's no more to it than you choose to believe in yourself, yeah. which again is really difficult, but really simple to say at the same time. But it is, it's all your mindset how you approach things whether you're gonna take every knockback as a lesson or a failure whether you're gonna you know put your best foot forward as we talked about earlier in one of them all all of that every bit of it comes down to your mindset and your belief in yourself and it, it's all a choice but it's a really really difficult choice to make natural but it's you're more than halfway there if you can get your, your mindset in that right place I think definitely one, and to say Evan Carmark was a big believer of that, and all this stuff—that's what all this stuff's built around belief, and it's such a such a crucial thing to have. Um, so yeah, I you know build up as much as you can, 
And again, I think you said all like all the rules lead into that a little bit, don't they? All these rules. All of it. And I think you leads into that, which is really good more, the way you've done it, yeah. More likely, back to again, and it all ties in the luck thing. You're more likely to be available when those things happen. You're more likely to succeed, do well in what you want to do. And but more importantly, I think no matter how well things are going or not going, because life is a roller coaster and it's all up and down, if your mindset's in that place, you're 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 a happier person no matter how it's going and that that's what it's all about at the end of the day because that happiness fulfillment success is completely different to everybody but i just think that mindset is a big part of of being there and spending more time in that place and you can't you can't always be there but it helps you get back there as well i was going to make a, a ronan keating joke when you said life's a roller coaster I was going to say, I think that might be the first Ronan Keating joke that anyone's ever made in the right, history of podcasting. Is it, a, so is go it, for it. Is it, is it gone? Yeah, go on. I, no, no, it's I, too late now. The moment's passed. Oh, oh. Well, is it because um, he's done a song called Roller Coaster or something? He's a yes, like, yes, Grandpa Joe. Okay. I do know the one by you Red hear Hot it Chili on Peppers. The, on the stereophonic if you listen to it. Red the Hot Chili Peppers. Why is he quoting mid, mid noughties <laughs> rock bands now? What's going off <laughs> of this? Red Hot Chili Peppers. They did Roller Coaster. Of love, I really oh, like that song. Star. That was for the um, what are they called? The MTV Be- thing, the Beans film, and, and Butthead movie. That was for Roller Coaster of Love. Anyway, okay, stop now. Cool. So, um, rather than takeaways this <laughs> this week, uh, all right, get back to sensibility. I'd like I'd like you guys to to tell me the, what one of the twenty one or multiple ones of the twenty one that you would like to be better at. Oh, better at is a good question. Uh, and mine was don't make decisions when you're emotional because I am sometimes I can be guilty of being flippant. Similarly to how you said, Lee, I'll, I'll write an email and more often than not, I catch myself as I'm halfway through it and go, no, you're being a bit of a dick. Stop. And then rarely, sometimes it will slip through and I'll have to. I don't apologize to anyone, but I'll, I have to kind of <laughs> retract and, and kind of smooth things over. Yeah, that's the one out of the 21 that, that I think I'm is one that I'd like to make some progress on in myself. That's some good I'd reflection like. there as well. In 30 seconds, can you whiz through the 21 for me? Yeah. No, nobody cares. Take time to know who you are. The more you give, the more you receive. No work is beneath you. Start meditating. Don't be afraid to take risks. Don't make decisions when you're emotional. Luck works if hard work runs. Be patient and persistent. You don't need to impress everyone. Listen and learn. Don't take the easy road. Start reading books. Respect others as you would respect yourself. Narrow down your focus bit by bit. You quit, you lose, you fail. Always put your best foot forward. Don't bother about what other people think. Learn something new every day. Don't make assumptions and believe in yourself. What do you think, Joe? I'm going with don't make assumptions for me um the reason for that it falls into that judgment character and it's sometimes i still fall off that wagon of assuming things before you know making those factual discoveries um you know i see people on tv or i see that on my brain will just jump to an assumption of x and y and z and i really don't like that about myself and um and i really want to stop that so it's almost like that judgment thing with you lee it's very similar um i still find i do it and i'm very conscious and i go Oh, I'm doing it again. I've got to step back. And also when you're speaking to any family, friends, co-workers, is I want to really park that. So that one's for me about that assumptions piece. I I really want to find out the real things about people before make I'm trying to find out what is their story before I make any sort of judgment or assumption about them. So that one's for me is a real important one for human beings. For me, that one is the one that stands out for me. Mine, I think, is a listen and learn one. So I think back to my younger days, a, a terrible small talk, basically, which you neither of you could probably believe because I took the hind legs off of a donkey. But I think, and I'd walk away from a conversation. I was like, why didn't I engage more? Why didn't I get more involved? I just, I was, I'd be quite quiet. And I think as you do on things, I probably spun a bit far where I will talk a lot with people now, but I probably need to kind of just get back to the middle a little bit where there's a bit more, questioning and bringing them in and making it a bit i'm just it's something i'm conscious of at the moment sometimes all quiet i'm like i didn't really ask them about that and i'm just it's it's burrowing in my brain a little bit so that's probably the one to get a little bit better at i think i say a little bit that's just the one to get better at mm. yeah love that yeah i think they're all good there's some you know 100 percent. i love that list yeah. i think it's a great one and i'm glad we and checked really... the theme of three shows on lists there 
And I really like the way, Ryan, you asked her to choose which one was your one that you wanted to improve on, because that's a real coaching question. Which one is the big takeaway for you? I love that, by the way. That's really good. Maybe you have to really think about that. So thanks. Great show. That. Absolutely. Like that one. <laughs> you are a hero. Right, everyone out there, if you want to be a hero and support the nation, head over inspirationnation.org.uk, merch, coaching service, newsletter, archives, etc. All over there, inspirationnation.org.uk. For great advertising logic, you should say it three times, so inspirationnation.org.uk. And, of course, follow Joe on social media. Um, I have to look at you there, Jay Neuer, underscore Inspiration Nation. Um, on TikTok especially, Journey to 10,000. You can see him there every day. Follow up and find out about his 12 hour walk on there loads of great content about that and of course you can watch a podcast live each and every week um i think that is across instagram um youtube as well he's all over the place jay noyer underscore inspiration nation and we on the podcast are at listen to in listen to oin yeah and you did mention youtube they got a new handle thing that i did obviously say to you about you know if they do with the they, they can do it they can now at you on youtube so if someone asks me in another youtube video i will be notified of that so you can just go at Jose Noy Inspiration Nation and I will respond to that. Fantastic stuff. Uh, we will be back again next week where I'll pick up on all the half answers I gave this week on various parts of the show. Um, all that's left for me to do is count us down there. Three, two, one. Inspiration Nation. Inspiration Nation. Catch you guys Catch later. You guys later. later. Let me know what your biggest takeaway is from this conversation. I'd love to know. Put it in the comments below and I'll respond to every single comment because that's the commitment I make to you in this community. Also, don't forget to subscribe right over here because we need you to build this Inspiration Nation community to get the podcast out there and to help other people for free. And also, don't forget to hit that bell right over here because if you hit that bell, then you're going to know when another videos go live. And don't forget to check out these videos right here next to me because those are other podcast episodes that can really help you out. I really, really appreciate it. And lastly, don't forget out to check the newsletter. The link is in the description below. That's where I can talk directly to you without through the YouTube, throughout the social, because you can have a direct communication channel with me through the email and you can get to know everything that's going on with Inspiration Nation, ask me questions and even give me suggestions of what you'd want us to talk about next. So I'd love to see you in the next video. So please click on those links. Please follow through. Please let's get this community building. I appreciate you. So until next time, I'll see you in the next video, Inspiration Nation, and I'll catch you guys later.